Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Thanks for joining me again for another Godzilla review. This time we're looking at something that has just come out. This is brand spanking new and this is Playmates Giant Mecha Godzilla from their Monsterverse line. And this is from the Godzilla vs Kong movie. Um, I will say this is not my favourite Mecha Godzilla design. That will always be Kiryu. That's a fantastic design. I adore that figure. or well, that design anyway. But I thought I'd pick this up to see if this would change my mind on the design. And I do have to say that this is stripped way back. So I actually kind of like it more in in this sort of you know less muddly version than what we saw on the screen for the movie uh yeah i haven't had it out of the box this is how it came i've had a little play around with the bits of articulation i can find but we'll have a proper look at it when it's out of the box anyway so let's have a look at the box it's pretty much the same as all Playmates Monsterverse fig uh, yeah, figure boxes. It's, um, you know, it's got Monsterverse on the front. It's giant Mechagodzilla uh, from the Blockbuster movie. How do they know? It didn't open at cinemas. How do they know it's Blockbuster? Uh, anyway, Godzilla vs. Kong. And you've got the Godzilla and Kong things at the top. Um, my mum saw this and she went, oh, you've got to get Kong now. And I went, oh, <laughs> I have no interest in Kong. Uh, so yeah, just be Godzilla stuff for me. Uh, this is licensed by Toho and Legendary and it's for ages 4 and up. And yeah, I can see that because quite a lot of it's soft plastic, So, but we'll, we'll get to that. So that's the, the front of the box. That's the side. I mean, they're all pretty much the same. Uh, obviously, this is not what we're getting. Um, it, it's a toy, you know, it's not a monster arts figure, so I have to forgive it for not looking exactly like the film. But, yeah, uh, yeah, so anyway, you've uh, you've got a bit of, let me just tilt this up a bit, you've got a little bit of information at the top there. And it's giant Mechagodzilla, uh, all the usual sorts of stuff on the back. And uh, it's just that on the side there, I think it's just like warnings and what have you on the bottom. Yeah, and again, this is a sticker on here. I found that with some other stuff that there's a sticker. I don't know what's underneath there, so I don't know if this is an import jobby because I got this early. Well, I got it earlier than I thought I was going to get it. It was supposed to come out the end of this month, which is May, but it came out. Um, I'm just trying to think when I got this. I got this two or three days ago, so yeah, it's, it came out earlier than expected. So. Right, it is just held in with plastic ties, um, but I am going to just pause the video for a minute and take it out of the box because I'm going to need to rearrange the camera, so I'll be right back. Right, so here's the figure out of the box. Um, yeah, well, yeah, I'm not sure about this guy. But before we get into all of it, let's see what he comes with. Oh, and it's basically nothing. This is This is all you get. Uh, you just get the figure. His tail does come separately in the box. Um, now, I will put it on, but I'm going to put it on towards the end of this review because if I put it on now, I'm not going to be able to get the whole figure in my display space. So, bear with me on that. I will come back to it. So, I'm just going to leave that out of the way for now. Um, yeah. Uh, I am... Um, Honestly, I'm not too sure about this thing. It's it's not great. It's not great. I've, I've had a quick play about with it while I just got it out of the box. And I mean, it was 23 quid, right? So don't get me wrong. I wasn't expecting amazing amounts of articulation and paint for that. But I was expecting... What in the hecky pecky is that? It's got some sort of hair on him. Um, but yeah, I was expecting a bit more than what we have. Okay, well let's 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 get into looking up close. Let me just uh, have to move this up a bit. He's really tall. It's a, it's a really really large figure. 
So, here's his face. Um, there's no paint on it besides the one eye there. The face is a sort of a, a I mean it's not very gummy but it's a slightly gummy plastic. At least the lower jaw is, I'm not sure about the upper jaw. Oh yeah that is as well. So that whole headpiece there seems to be like a, a softer plastic. Um, it, the head doesn't move at all, the jaw doesn't move either. The main body is a uh, hard plastic, so you can hear there, um, what is that? Oh, it's getting long, ah. ew, oh, I don't know what the heck that is, that's not very nice, I don't like it, I think it might just be a bit plastic, but yeah, um, now looking at his shoulders, I had thought that we would get some outward articulation but as you can see they are completely fixed in place there's nothing there you can move the arms forwards and backwards but that really does absolutely nothing unless you want him to do like a Mecha Godzilla zombie pose mech brains mech brains uh, so there's not much you can do there. He does have this wrist articulation, so you've got a swivel joint and then you've got a hinge for the claws. But he has no articulation in his elbow joints. So that's all you get. Um, there's so little paint on it, it's barely even noticeable. He's got this bit on his chest here, um, and a couple, of, whoops, and a couple of bits going down his his belly section, and that, other than the spines, is the entirety of his paint. That's it, no more. So, like I say, you've got that that arm articulation there coming down the body. You can see there's, there's not a great deal of moulding on it either. Um, like I said in the intro, you know, I wasn't expecting monster arts quality for 23 quid. Please don't get me wrong. But I think for the price and the lack of articulation, they could have done. E they could have either given us more articulation or more moulding. So yeah. Um, again, this is all hard plastic, it's hard plastic, all the arms are hard plastic, the claws are soft, so I'm not sure how well they'd hold up to play, to be honest. Um, Leg-wise, again, I thought we might get some outward articulation, but again, you just get a swivel. Um, there's nothing at the knee, although it looks like there should be. You can see here, this looks like a hinge. Oh, well, let me rearrange my camera slightly before it topples over backwards. Uh, right, here we go, see? That looks like it should move, but it doesn't. Now, I don't know if you can see what you, you can see here. This is just squared off. Now, I do wonder if I take this apart, if I could just sand this down so that it's it's circular and maybe that articulation joint will work but I can't see any screws in the legs now whether they're underneath this plating this plastic plating here I don't know I think possibly but I'm not going to rip it apart on camera because that'd be done um so yeah it's um light on articulation you do get some nice molding down the legs though which is pretty cool this all looks quite nice uh, there's a couple of pistons here you don't get yeah you don't get much but you know you get a bit um, and then all the feet all the feet both of the feet are this rubbery plastic again and you do get rotation on them but honestly it's it's not really worth having it there if there's no other articulation. I think that's a real shame. Um, 
there's basically only one pose you can get him in. So what articulation there is, is is, is rendered, you know, useless because you, you can't you can't do anything with it. There's there's nowhere to go with it. I mean, you could you could probably have him like all the way over with his tail sticking up in the air if you wanted to. Um, for for that that's pretty much it. Now I don't know. Well, actually, I do know. Sorry, it's, it's silly. I know there is a, a new Godzilla figure coming out that Playmates have done. Um, I don't think that's massively articulated either. And it bothers me. And I'll tell you why it bothers me. It bothers me because the little the little Kong figure, the regular-sized Kong figure, that's got articulation out the backside. It is articulated at practically every joint. But of the Godzilla figures I bought, this is the articulation you get. You get arm at the shoulder, you get leg at the hip, and you get some articulation in the tail. That's been the same for all of them. And I just feel like Playmates have, been, have, have, have not really cared. They don't care about Godzilla. They only really care about Kong. Because the, the Kong figures have gotten the best articulation, they've gotten the best paint apps. Um, <sighs> I, I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm miffed, I am really miffed that the Godzilla figures have been getting so little love. Um, oh, the, the spines, the spines are moulded in red um, and they've deigned to put a little bit of silver on there. I'm really disappointed with this figure, chaps, really disappointed. I think it's just... I mean, if you have it that way on, it doesn't even look menacing because you can't even move the, the the arms out to the side. And, you know, the picture on the back of the box... Let me just bring this in again. That's the picture on the back of the box. You can't even do that with this figure. I know that that's a render or, you know, a, a screen grab from a film, whatever it is. But you can't put this on the back of the box and then put the toy that doesn't do this. That's not fair. That's not fair to adult collectors, but it sure isn't fair to children. Because if you're looking at this on a toy shelf and you go, that looks pretty good, I'll get that for my child, um, and you get it home and it doesn't do that, as a parent you're going to be a bit... well, you're not going to be very happy. And the kid's going to say to you, Mummy, Daddy, it doesn't do that, why doesn't it do that? Well. The reason it doesn't do that, kiddies, is because Playmates are cheap. <sighs> so yeah, that's that thing. I am really annoyed. I am gutted. 23 quid. I couldn't even be bothered to paint it properly. Alright, let's put the tail on. Um, the tail is just basically a, a big... Um, there's a big clip, basically. And, uh, well, you, you put it where tails generally tend to go. And, uh, yep, there you go. Now it's on there. The tail has, well, it's the articulation point there, obviously. You can rotate it there, but you can rotate it there also. And i tell you another thing I noticed with this. The, um, the tip of the tail has... Let's see if it's easier to see from the other side. Oh, crikey, now I've done it. Now I can't see. I should have showed you this before I put it on. There's a really thin piece of rubbery plastic holding that in place. That's not going to last long. Especially if a four-year-old gets it. Oh, there you go. You can see it now, right there. It's a really thin bit of plastic there holding that on. That's that's not going to last. <laughs> it's not going to last now. I'm not going to be able to get him back in this box. Ah, extreme close-up. Let's do it this way. Um... Okay, I'm just going to put it that way, because frankly, that's probably the best angle for it anyway, because it's the angle with the most paint on it. Um, I wouldn't bother with this one. Unless you're a hardcore Godzilla collector, which I am, um, it takes a lot for me to be disappointed in a Godzilla figure. Um, but unless you're a hardcore Godzilla figure and you absolutely have to have this in your collection, just give it a miss. Just don't bother. Just... Wait for the, the Monster Arts version because, you know, 
This was 23 quid. I know the monster art is going to be small. Oh, I um, didn't do a size comparison, did I? That is the um, Playmates Final Wars Godzilla. So, I mean, it is big. And I know people will say, oh, well, you're buying it for the size. And, yeah, I, I agree to a point. Um, but some paint would have been nice. Do you know what I mean? Even if they couldn't have... Even if they couldn't have afforded to put the articulation joints in, these articulation joints would have been nice. Just so it does something more than this. Just It just looks bad. It just looks really bad. I wouldn't buy it for your kid. If you're a parent looking for, for a Godzilla toy, I don't, don't bother with this because I don't think it's going to last long, if I'm honest. There's, there, I think there's too much to break on it. Um, if, you're a, if you're an adult collector, Again, I wouldn't bother. Wait for the monster arts. You know, you you're gonna pay what a hundred quid for a monster arts figure. So you know, if you don't get this, then you're already twenty three quid there, aren't you? <laughs> yeah. What I'm gonna do with this because I can, and I know not everybody can, uh, but I'm I've been modelling since I was uh, about eight years old. I am going to rip it apart, I am going to paint it up and I will maybe try and kit bash some stuff on so it's make it look a bit more like the movie because as it stands it doesn't really look much like the movie and I know you're looking at the back side of it but I can't fit it in, <laughs> I put the tail on now I can't fit it in the flipping box. Uh, so that's it, yeah, I, I wouldn't bother, wait for something better. Uh, sorry that this one has been a bit negative. I try not to put out negative videos, even when I was with Fingers on Plastic. I tried not to put out negative videos, but sometimes sometimes you get a figure which is so disappointing that you just don't have anything good to say about it. And this, this, is, this is one of those figures. I really don't have anything good to say about this. I, I just... It, it has no redeeming features as far as I can tell other than that I can rip it apart and make it actually look good. Uh, but I won't be doing that for a while because I still haven't got my studio sorted. So once I get that sorted, and uh, I can start cracking on with these things. So yeah, Right, that's it now. I really am leaving. So um, thanks for watching. There will be a more positive Godzilla <laughs> review in the future. Um, but thanks for watching this one. Please do come back for the positive one. And uh, take care of yourselves and uh, bye for now.